once we have created our uh, DPA or the DCA, the application that's collecting uh, values from the field, that's our client maps, and we have added a, a connection to that client map, which is this device that's collecting information from the UR or all our field devices. And then we have created all our uh, calculator points, our uh, alarm points, uh, and all of these, uh, all of this information is ready to be transferred to the master or to be sent to the master. What we have to do is we have to create a server map. So a server map is a list of points that is a list of information that is ready to be transferred and be utilized by the master, whether this is digital input, analog input points that can be pulled by the master on a DMP protocol or a digital output, analog output uh, counterpoints uh, that are uh, ready for uh, master freezing and, and reading and, and master uh, control okay so how do we build a server map we go over to the server map in the same manner that we did the client map and then we click new uh, we can either create a 101 map a dmp or a modbus uh, just to note here if you need to do a 61850 setup you will have to do 61850 in the sg config loader of 61850 it cannot be done on uh, this online uh, configuration so uh, we click on DMP and then we click OK it gives me uh, basically an area where I can add my points that I need to report to the master and then there is a tab for every data type whether it's analog input analog output digital input digital output or accumulators so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pick up some analog outputs from the device. So I'll pick up the voltage and current. Okay. And uh, for a digital, I've got no analog outputs in the system. Um, you don't have to pick up every uh, type. Okay. So from... Uh, the calculator application evaluation expression analog input uh, type conversion analog input uh, and averages analog input okay then we can add some digital inputs if we want so we'll go to the IED then we can add all of those for digital inputs that were coming from the UR. Uh, we can also add the calculator points. So the quality conversion digital input that we created, the output to input uh, digital input point uh, that is uh, basically converts from a digital output that's owned by calculator. So as you can see, you're mixing uh, between physical points or data that's coming from the substation and data that has been created inside the D400 as a soft point or sometimes referred to as a pseudo point like not a real point okay uh, we can also add the two digital outputs that are to be controlled by uh, for the relay those are my virtual inputs in the UR relay if you, in case you're interested in how does it work in the UR relay um, in the automation world an output is an input in the protection world and this is something just as a side note uh, for those who are new to the field okay and uh, <clears throat> basically we can add a digital output expression Okay. and the output to input uh, conversion this is the digital output so now when we send this digital output point to the master the master has the ability to force this digital output point and the value will be reflected in this digital input point right uh, as we uh, sorry this digital input point as we have 
uh, explained it in the uh, output to input uh, conversion okay uh, of course you can add accumulators now in the case of accumulators we don't have accumulators coming from the UR relay uh, but there is lots of accumulators on that on the UR uh, software or that the application that's working with the UR software for example we can see how many messages were sent how many messages were received uh, what is the timeout for the message communication how many messages uh, with errors okay and uh, from a calculator point of view uh, we can see uh, how many uh, command what commands were received by calculator and how many of the received commands did not pass or then go through um, as you can see there is uh, um, basically uh, a lot of information available uh, that we can uh, take it and report it to the master so uh, another example is if you interested in an IREG B uh, frame count right uh, to be reported back to the master then you can pick up this IREG B point and that will all be in the list okay so at this point we have populated the points that are going to the master and this is the art of uh, automation you receive the points in a certain sequence and then you would reframe it logically in a different sequence for the master so the master right now can take these points and uh, put them the way uh, the master expects uh, uh, these points to be reported all the attributes similar to the attributes that we have um, basically configured in the client map are available here now the number of attribute is much less that's because when you're configuring a client map under the DMP protocol you would have to specify how often we're going to basically pull the device and how often the device is going to reply to us and all of those parameters may not be required in the case of a data processing application or uh, uh, basically a server map okay so in this case uh, the, the server map uh, application that's serving to a DMP master does not require that uh, we uh, do any more than uh, these specific uh, simplified uh, uh, parameters Okay. and as you can see the parameters are specific to every type so under analog input I can decide what is my analog input class and uh, what is the variation so uh, for those who are new to this uh, under the DMP protocol there is object and variation and you would decide uh, what is the object and variation for each uh, data type so and the class under which uh, the data will be reported so we're deciding that this is all this data over here is digital inputs are all class 1 data you also have the option of inverting the data before you report it to the master so let's say that there is a digital input that's coming uh, into the D400 and what you want to report to the to the master is the inverse of that value so if the value is 0 you would report 1 if the value is 1 you would report 0 and uh, to do that you would have to check the box that says inverted uh, value okay now that my uh, uh, tables are populated I would click Save give it a name let's say my BMP webinar server and I click Save Okay, that XML right now is available in my D400. It can be used every time I want to add a master to the D400. Now we can go over to connections and then add this, the master. Say it's a network DMP master. Okay, and then we go and we decide whether we accept all hosts or we can specify the IP address of the host that we want to talk to what is the port that we should use 
and what is the D400 address as a server? So 120. And under DMP, every device in the network has to have a unique uh, DMP address. And that's different from our IP addressing or our communication port, physical port, uh, if you're using serial uh, number. It's uh, an address that specifies the address of uh, this device from a DMP logical network uh, perspective. Okay. Uh, there is defaults that are set up for every uh, device that's reporting to a master. If these defaults need to change, for example, you want to uh, change the unsolicited class 1 mode, uh, the class 2 mode, or class 3 mode, unsolicited messages are messages that is uh, basically sent to the master without the master pulling this information. So if that is required, then uh, you would need to change them. Uh, you can use a custom setup instead of the use default uh, setup. Okay, and that's it. Your uh, D400 is ready to report to the master. Uh, once, once you're done, don't forget to uh, save it and uh, commit your configuration.